Merry Christmas! So it's Christmas morning and I've got a couple of presents to open. I've got two books for my boyfriend, I've got two wrapped presents and I've got four presents to open or five even from Shah from Thoroughly Enjoyed Books. So I thought I'd open them on camera just so that everyone can see my reaction. Which one? I'm gonna open this one first because I think I know maybe what this one is. And I can tell by the flack. <laughs> So I got Death Note Volume 5, thank you! And then I got another smaller one, and I don't know what this is, I'm excited. Ready? <laughs> do, 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 do. <gasps> You're so clever! Good morning. Yeah! <laughs> Um, I also got White Rage by Carol Anderson, which I think was on my wish list. Was it on my wish list? Yeah, because I definitely wanted to read this one. And this is going to be the first non-fiction book I think I own about racial injustices in America, because a lot of the ones I've bought are around Britain, but of course I do want to read wider um, and learn a lot more about what is happening across the world. So I'm very excited to get to this one because I've also heard really good things. And the next two I have are beautifully wrapped um, and came in an Amazon parcel and I don't actually know who they're from because I haven't looked at the tags yet but I'm going to read the tags before I open them just so I know who they're from. Um, but I love the Amazon like packaging this year, it's so gorgeous. Uh, so happy Christmas my love, I hope you enjoy your books and have a lovely time over Christmas. Here's hoping for a better 2021 because I miss you, lots of love from Sylvie. I guess for some reason that these ones were from Sylvie so I'm very excited about that. So let's open this one and see what's inside this one. Um, and Sylvie is also a booktuber and also an in real life best friend. Um, so I'm going to link everyone that's obviously gifted me things in the description box. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a coat, it's because I got it for Christmas. That's why I'm wearing my coat indoors. Do, 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 do. <gasps> yes! Um, so she got me Vicious by V.E. Schwab, which is like, I put it on my wish list. I spoke about this in like one of my previous videos. Um, Sophia from Sophia Thoughts recommended this one to me when I asked her for a Dark Academia recommendation and I immediately put it on my wish list as I haven't actually read a book from V.E. Schwab yet and I know she is very much loved and I think I knew that this was the one I wanted to start with so I'm very excited about owning this. Thank you Sylvie and I think Sylvie's actually read this one. Um, I might be wrong but yes. So excited. And the gift note on this one just says from Sylvie, uh, which I understand because sometimes writing two gift notes is a bit like I said everything I wanted to say in the last one. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to keep these bags because they're wonderful, like book bags. What have we got? <gasps> yes! And we've got um, Pet by Aquaki at MZ. And this is a really short story um, about a black, possibly trans woman. I'm might be completely wrong in saying that so I'm going to leave a link to the book's like description on Goodreads so that um, you know you actually know what it is about but this is another one that's got nothing but great reviews so I'm very excited once again to have this and get round to reading it. I also love it when people gift you smaller books because my TBR is out of control um, so it makes me feel slightly less bad about having more books on my TBR. Okay so without further ado I'm going to get into the four slash five? Five? Five, five presents that Shah sent me um, which are all beautifully wrapped and I also I love the elf wrapping paper love this um, I'm gonna open this one first just because it's small and I picked it up first <gasps> Ooh. oh my god it smells amazing so it's a festive berry body shop soap and it smells so good. It's made with cranberry seed oil from North America. Oh my god, look, and you can see see it. It's so pretty. And Shah definitely knows I love a good bath, so I feel like that's for that reason. And it just smells so good. Um, and I'm trying to be as plastic free as possible when it comes to my cosmetic side of things. So I love bars of soap and like shampoo bars and things like that. So 
love that thank you i'm gonna open this one next because it's soft and squishy and i want to know why it's soft and squishy <gasps> oh my god <laughs> I'm so happy. So Shaw got me um, baby Yoda slippers. <laughs> if you didn't know that this about me already, I'm obsessed with Star Wars and baby Yoda. And um, I got a Christmas present to say baby Yoda's on his way to me. And the Mandalorian is busy. So he's being sent to me for me to look after him. So he's coming on the 30th of December um, from a present from my boyfriend for Christmas. So he obviously has got me some kind of baby Yoda and I'm so excited um yes so now and I got they're so soft as well I'm honestly just so happy I just and I think the next three are books so let's get to these which is just I'm so happy thank you so much oh 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 <gasps> I love that Shaw has bought me books that aren't on my wish list, so it's like kind of you don't actually know what you're getting because it wasn't on your wish list. But Shaw knows that I wanted to read The Lies of Loch Lamora because she had it on her TBR and she was selling them. Um, and I asked if I was too late to buy it because uh, someone else had already snapped it up. So she got me The Lies of Loch Lamora. And I'm very excited because this is like a standalone fantasy and you very, very rarely get those. And just whenever I hear the synopsis of it, it sounds super interesting to me. Um, so yes very excited about this especially because this year I barely read any fantasy so I I really want to get back into it but I think I need a sort of high fantasy standalone like The Lives of Loch Lamora. Also I love this because it's big but it's also little. I love big little books if that makes any sense. We've got the next one. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, so if you didn't know, Shah is running a uh, Books About Bipolar book club next year, starting in January, and um, I wanted to obviously follow along with some of the books, and the January book is Little and Lion, and I, this book sounds so interesting, and I really wanted to, like, obviously read it and take part in the January book for the book club, and now I can, because I have it, and I've actually forgotten the synopsis of this. Um, but again, I will link the book's description in the description box for you to go and check out as well as Shah's video about the book club and the reads for each month where she goes into detail about what each book is about so that you get like a full understanding of that. But yay, thank you so much Shah. I'm so excited to be reading along with you and especially this one because I was excited to read it anyway. And this is the last one from Shah and it feels like a hardback. You cheeky, cheeky person buying me a hardback. Oh, 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 I don't know what this is. What is this? <gasps> I think I've just worked out what this is. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> so she bought me Here is the Beehive by Sarah Crossan, and this is written in verse, and it was Shah's favourite book from this year, or 2020, depending on when this video goes up. And I have wanted to read it ever since then because the premise is that there is a man and a woman having like a year or years long affair, I believe. And when the man dies, the woman has to sort of grieve in private because she can't be publicly grieving for someone that she was having an affair with because no one knew. And that whole concept just sounds so interesting. And Shah absolutely loved this book. And we have very similar reading tastes. So if she loves it, I will probably love it. I love the idea that it's written in verse and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I just, um, thank you so much. You've like absolutely spoiled me. And I just, I'm just so grateful for you and your friendship and this whole entire year. And I really hope that the world gets better soon so that, you know, we can meet in person and do all the things we wanted to do before this year cancelled all of it. So I'm gonna go and put on my slippers and 
have a shower with my new soap and maybe start reading this uh, before I go to my mum's who by the way I'm just going to disclaimer we are in tier four um, and my mum is a single household and she's in our bubble and for Christmas we are allowed to go to her so she can spend Christmas with us. Uh, so disclaimer, we're not actually breaking any rules. Um, and I've got more books, the other books that were sent to me from Amazon, I don't know who they're from, I got her to wrap them. So I'm gonna open those a bit later uh, when we're over there. Hey guys, um, I'm now at my mum's house and she has wrapped, very nicely wrapped some of the Amazon um, parcels, deliveries that I've got that I have no idea who they're from. Um, and I also have these two that are already wrapped and I know who these are from because I guessed, <laughs> I guessed that they were from Victoria and my mum said that yes they were. Um, so I'm just going to read the labels to you and then open them and we'll soon see what's inside them. Um, and I'm very excited. And the lighting's really bad and my hair is really annoying me so I apologise in advance for that. But let's open this one first. So it says, to Shannon, Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a good new year. Much love from What Victoria Read. Uh, and like I said earlier, I will link everyone in the description box. It took me ages to open. <laughs> uh, very excited. Oh, 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 oh. Da, da, da. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm so glad. So Victoria got me Tender is the Flesh. Now, Victoria absolutely loved this book. I think she read it in 2020. And the more she talks about it on her channel, the more interested I am in reading it because it sounds very weird, not very nice read, but something that could be really interesting. And I think I'm into weird books and weird concepts and, this one is definitely weird because it's about cannibalism, I believe. It says, if everyone was eating human meat, would you? Um, and yes, I know that Victoria loved it and we have a very similar taste in books. And I just, I'm just so intrigued by this one and that's why I put it on my wish list. So thank you so much, Victoria. And I hope to get to this one soon so that you do have someone to talk to who's also read this because I know that you did want to talk to someone about, you know, this book. And apparently the ending as well is really shocking. And I love a like, oh my God, ending. So I'm very excited about this one. And it's also gorgeous. Um, it looks a lot nicer in person. Um, it's very pretty. And the blue one and the gift note says, uh, to Shannon, Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy this one. And I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a good new year. Much love from w Victoria Red. I don't know if it's the same as it is, it's the same message that's on both of them, which is fine, but I just like to double check, you know? Uh, let's see if I can open this one easier than I did the last one. Yay! <laughs> um, so Victoria got me The Girl in the Tower, which is the second book in the Bear and the Nightingale series, as I just finished reading The Bear and the Nightingale. And I actually really, really, really want to read this one in January because the first book I read in January this year was an awful book. And I want to start 2021 by reading and finishing a book I know I'm going to love. And I feel like this is just the book for me to do that. Um, so thank you so much. And because I have just finished reading the first book, I'm hoping that I can go into this one with the same fresh memory because I just finished The Bear and the Nightingale. Uh, so yay. And this is also so gorgeous and perfect for the like season, like, very, it's a very Christmassy, wintry, vibey kind of book series. And I cannot wait to see what happens in this one and where the story goes because I love the characters and the concept and everything about the first book. Um, so yes, thank you so much, I'm so excited. Okay, so my mom has wrapped the rest of them and put them in a bag. So I'm just gonna open the bag and then open some more books. So there are three books here. Um, and I'm just gonna put them in front of me and open them. And she did put the gift notes as well inside the book so I know who they're from. Uh, it makes it all very Christmassy, it's so exciting. Oh, 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 I don't recognize this one. Like from the back, I don't know what that is, which is intriguing. Oh, 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 I do now. So it is The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie and 
This is meant to be a really good um, Agatha Christie. The only two others I've read are And Then There Were None and The Murder on the Orient Express and apparently if you enjoyed those two you will really enjoy this one. Um, and again I think Victoria um, has read this and said it was she enjoyed it. So yay! So it's from Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe and it says Merry Christmas Shannon. I hope this manages to arrive on time. I have read this and I loved it and me and Olivia have very similar reading tastes so now I'm even more excited. Agatha Christie can do no wrong which is 100% true. I hope you'll love diving into this mystery too. Enjoy it from Olivia from Olivia's Catastrophe. So thank you so much. I'm so excited and again I feel like mysteries are the perfect books to read in like winter because it's like da -da, what's going on um so yes very excited about getting around to this one it's also a lot bigger than i was expecting for some reason i thought it was going to be teeny weeny because the other agatha christie's i've read are a lot smaller um so that's got me more excited because i feel like there's going to be more to try and like work out let's open this one very much getting into the christmasy mood I try not to look just in case like I work out what it is. Yes! <laughs> so um, this is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta and I've wanted to read this ever since it's come out. Um, the premise sounds really interesting to me but it's also written in verse. Ooh, yeah, and it's got really lovely like, like pages in it which is what I love. Oh, and it's like uh, I am messages and like loads of different, Ooh, very intrigued. Uh, let's see, let's see who it came from. Oh, it's from Mary, from Mary Among Stories. Oh, I love Mary so much. Hope this gift brings you joy. Thank you for always being kind and supportive. Love Mary from Mary Among Stories. I just, I just, I love Mary so much. I just, uh, so thank you so much, Mary. And I really hope to get to this one soon because I get through books written in verse a lot quicker than other books as well. And it's also so gorgeous and shiny. I love shiny books so thank you and then there's this one which feels like a hardback so someone has been cheeky and bought me a hardback for Christmas oh oh oh, oh. I think I might know what it is oh my god oh my god oh my god it's fine it's fine oh my god Okay, it's not what I thought it was, it's even better than what I thought it was. Uh, uh. Okay, so someone has bought me um, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell and this is probably one of my like highly anticipated books because it's about um, William Shakespeare when his young son died and if you don't know this about me already, I'm obsessed with everything Shakespeare and this book is just gorgeous and everyone's loving it. People who I really trust with their book recommendations and everything. And I can't believe I own this now. Oh, I'm so excited. So obviously I need to see who it's from. Oh my God, it's from Karis. Oh, ah. Thank you so much. Uh, so it says, Merry Christmas, Shannon. I hope you have a lovely festive season and happy 2021. So glad that we've reconnected this year. Love, Karis. And I just, I just, because I, <laughs> I did say to myself, if I didn't get this for Christmas, I was going to treat myself to it. It was like the one and only book that I was going to allow myself to buy after Christmas. Um, and I just, and actually it's shorter then I thought because when people hold it up to me it seems like a massive like chunky chunky book um but that to me now looks doable like readable um and again it's one I want to read like right now I just want to stop what I'm doing and read it so thank you so much so happy so those are the lovely books that I got from so many lovely booktubers and I'm going to link them all obviously in the description box I'm just so thankful to all of these people who I have spoken to and connected with a lot more this year and you're all just such lovely people and I just I'm just gonna sit here and be really emotional and be like you guys are great um and I feel like with the books that I've been gifted for Christmas this year I'm just gonna have an amazing reading year for 2021 because I've got so many amazing books now on my TBR so I'm gonna leave now um yeah 
because my dinner will be ready soon anyway. So thank you.